This is Tiedemann's Pond, a natural landmark located near Madison, Wisconsin, in Middleton. At the size of 30 acres, this pond is a habitat for a countless variety of plants and animals. The Tiedemann Pond Conservancy area belongs to the city of Middleton. Before the white men came, the Winnebago Indians traded goods in these woods. The land was sold to the government of the United States, and finally George Tiedemann became the owner in the 1930s and 40s, and he farmed here for many years. Today Tiedemann's Pond is owned by the Middleton Park System. In 1957, residents demonstrated that the pond dried up two out of every ten years. Today, after pumping and after 13 stormwater pipes were installed, the water level hovers between one and three feet in the center at an elevation at around 910 feet. The astounding natural beauty of Tiedemann's Pond and the simpler, relaxed qualities it possesses draw in hundreds of visitors a year. Following a mile-long trail, which is part wood chip and part boardwalk, the visitor can catch a glimpse of the wide variety of plant and animal life in and around Tiedemann's Pond. Multiple species of common birds can be found, including cardinals, hummingbirds, and yellow finches. In addition to these varieties, one also finds hundreds of wood ducks, mallards, geese, hawks, eagles, and owls. Other unique treasures are the rare great blue herons and precious sandhill cranes found in the marshes surrounding the pond. Of course, insects are found throughout the pond, which are very important to the natural ecosystem. Reptiles include snails, snakes, frogs, toads, and especially the populous mud turtles. Many mammals make their home at Tiedemann's Pond, including rodents like squirrels, muskrats, raccoons, and cottontail rabbits, as well as the occasional deer. Cattails and lily pads add to the beauty at Tiedemann's Pond. What many people want to know is who was George Tiedemann and why was the pond named after him? The Middleton Historical Society may have the answer. Here a newspaper article records George Tiedemann's description of Middleton in 1893 and how his father, Edward, was involved with churches and quarries. Other scattered facts included family records, photos, and proof of Native American existence by the pond. Still, the mystery is unsolved, but a solution may be found at the Middleton Public Library. Found there is a fascinating fact-filled book entitled Report on a Study Done at Tiedemann's Pond in Middleton, Wisconsin by Bruce Porter. So the pond is named after George Tiedemann because he lived and farmed here for so long. It says that the pond has a silt kettle bottom, is made up of rainfall and runoff, and averages at two to four feet in depth, often flooding. Dens of wild animals surround the pond where wildlife can feast on berries and grasses like wapato for the muskrats. The north and south host man-made objects and homes, while the entire pond is surrounded by shrubbery and forestry and a trail wrapping around it which is 0.9 miles long. The city of Middleton is constantly working to lower unnatural disturbing factors that could damage the water or wildlife. This book contains a historical interview with George Tiedemann, who the pond is named after. George had lived in a house in the northeast corner of the pond from his birth in 1905 to 1967 when he moved to Madison. He said, quote, We raised cows, ducks, geese, and chickens, but we never let them destroy the pond or the wildlife. Unquote. Well, Mr. Tiedemann did hunt and kill 
hundreds of muskrats for fur while keeping his Indian neighbors away. He hatched over a thousand Pekin ducks on his family farm, but he always seemed to be interested in the pond and its inhabitants. So, George Tiedemann worked a farm and had many adventures on the property until it was handed to Middleton, in whose possession it remains today. One last person who may know of Tiedemann's pond is citizen Gertie Brar. Well, my name is Gurdi Brar. I live uh, right around in the neighborhood on the city council, so I am alderman for district two. In 2002, I also started a group. It's called Friends of Cattle Pond. So there are four cattle ponds uh, in Middleton, and uh, Tiedemann Pond is one of them. Well, I am very passionate about this pond, and I think uh, the pond should have flowers, and it should look beautiful, and the trails should be good so that everybody in the city can enjoy it. It just makes me so far so much better that I can do something for some other people. So, so that's why I really do it. And I started that flower garden right where the entrance to the park. The city of Middleton plays a very dominant role, dominant role in maintaining this. Every once or two years they put the wood chip, wood chip so that it's nice and smooth for people to walk. We have a boardwalk right along the Gammon Road and uh, what uh, the city does is to make sure that uh, that boardwalk all is in good shape. So, so, so the city does uh, whatever the citizens would want them to do within reason, within the, within the funds available to do that project. So they control the weeds and uh, they plant new shrubs, new flowers, and they also maintain uh, the water level when it gets flooded. Then we have a pump in that corner there, so it pumps that excess water to Lake Mundota. So, uh, I think most people like the bodies of water. In this case, there's so much wildlife here, so, so it just gives you very peace, harmony, you can go for a walk, and, and you can just, you know, enjoy yourself, and uh, you have uh, this very beautiful wild area right in the middle of the city, so, so rather than just, uh, you know, driving out there to the, some wildlife area, you have it right here. So you have water, you have birds, we have flowers, and you have trees. You have, uh, it just, uh, it just uh, adds to the peace and serenity and the, and the sanity of people. And uh, you can see a lot of people walk their dogs around it. It provides such a beautiful opportunity that you can walk your dog. It's such a beautiful nature right in the middle of the city. Uh, to look at the overall picture, it's one of the four um, cattle ponds, Stricker Pond and Tiedmont pond together, that means 50% of the cattle ponds in Milton are right here. It was created by the glaciation. Then when that ice melted, you know, you had a sort of a, it, it formed a cattle shape. In case of the Tiedman pond, it was, this area was cultivated by the farmers only about, uh, about 50 years ago. Then when the people start building homes, it became much bigger and uh, the water won't just dry up. Fifty years ago the water will dry up. Bigger pond because there's a development all around. So it was named after uh, one of the family who used to own this and their last name was Tiedman. And they used to live in that blue house in that corner there. It's uh, unique for me because I have lived on this pond since uh, 1982. And it's unique for all the people living around there because it becomes a very important part of their life. So it's unique in the sense that it's a cattle pond to begin with and that because a lot of people living around there, they have fallen in love with this pond. Going around the pond, you're not worrying about a thing, you're happy.